a bright sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. She was pregnant, and she cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Another sign appeared in heaven. An enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on his heads. Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give so that it might devour her child the moment he was born. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who ruled the nations with an iron scepter. Her child was snatched up to God on his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness to a place that was prepared for her. where she might be taken care of for 1260 days. Then a war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back, but he wasn't strong enough. They lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down. That ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, who leads the whole world astray, who was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven. Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. But the accuser of our brothers and sisters, who accuses them before God day and night, has been hurled down with triumph over him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. He didn't love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Therefore rejoice your heavens and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and sea, because the devil has gone down to you, and he is filled with fury, because he knows his time is short. When the dragon saw that he had been hurled to earth, he pursued the woman who gave birth to the male child. The woman was given two wings of the great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness where she would be taken care of for a time, times and a half of time, out of the serpent's reach. Then from his mouth, the serpent spewed water like a river. to overtake the woman and sweep her away with a torrent. The earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon has spewed out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged with the woman and went off to wage war against her offspring and those who keep God's commands and hold fast testimony 